Hi everybody, welcome back to The Lovestead. My name is Jessica and I write the blog Lady Lovestead. Today we're going to start talking about femininity. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. There are several reasons that I started blogging and sort of creating my online home. And one of them was because I just sort of went through this process of self-discovery, deciding and learning about myself that I identify as a highly feminine woman. And so I wanted to talk about that and I've been looking for various other people interested in, in the subject. I also have a background in women and gender studies, so just this gender identity has always been something really interesting and precious to me. <sighs> The problem that I ran into was that the creators, content creators, that typically cover this topic, I didn't find a lot that I could relate to them on other than just identifying as a really feminine person. So a lot of content creators that talk about femininity and homemaking, hmm. A lot of them are very young. Good for them. I'm not very young. <laughs> um, definitely into my adult years. Not young adult years. A lot of the content creators who talk about this topic are stay-at-home mothers and full-time homemakers who have that privilege to be able to be full-time moms and stay-at-home homemakers, and I am neither of those things, probably will never be either of those things. And another sort of disturbing trend that I have seen in this culture of femininity is a real intolerance of people who think differently, while at the same time preaching that I'm open to other people's ideas and experiences when really they're they're not at all open. Um, there's a lot of insidious sort of cutting down of people who have different opinions. Usually it's done in really subtle ways. So like mocking someone's opinion by stating it in a valley girl voice. Um, that I find that just most of them say that they appreciate different opinions, but they don't practice that appreciation in their content. <laughs> so, like, I just was having a really hard time finding a community that felt like my home community. And Toni Morrison said, I think it was Toni Morrison, but Toni Morrison said, um, you know, if you cannot find a book that tells the story you want to read, you need to write that book yourself. So that's kind of what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create um, some sort of connection and community on the topic of identifying as a really feminine person, but a community that actually respects differing opinions. Um, another thing that I have noticed about the highly feminine homemaking community content creators is so much vitriol towards feminism. And I don't get it <laughs> because feminism is not the antithesis of being feminine or being a homemaker. In fact, it is only because of feminism that women and others can make the act of choice to stay home. Otherwise it was just forced on us. So that bothers me because I feel like there's a real lack of understanding on what feminism is, how it actually has supported someone's feminine identity. It's, they're not mutually exclusive, but they're pitted as mutually exclusive. Um, and, you know, that's another thing that I just haven't been able to identify with and that I want to create space for conversation on. I 
also think that gender identity is more than <clears throat> deciding to wear makeup, uh, deciding to represent yourself physically in certain ways. That is a very important part of it. But I think sometimes it's represented as this is what femininity is. It's wearing pastels and it's, um, you know, doing your hair every day. And femininity is also being projected as traditional sort of homemaker roles. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think homemaking and stay-at-home mothers are like they're amazing roles and if someone has the ability to choose that and that is what makes them happy that's awesome but I also don't think that it is the only way to be a feminine woman or a feminine person because you don't even just have to be a woman to identify as someone who is highly feminine um so my my intention in making this video is to kind of set the foundation for what we're going to talk about in relation to femininity and how I don't want to talk about femininity. I don't want to talk about it in a way that disrespects other people's viewpoints. I don't want to talk about it in a way that makes it mutually exclusive with feminism. And I don't want to talk about it in a way that puts it into a box saying this is how you are feminine and this is the only way you are feminine because it can be expressed in so many ways. And gender identity goes so far beyond just how we represent ourselves physically. Um, and it's really interesting stuff and it's really important stuff for us to think about, each of us as individuals because it plays such an important role in our lives, whether we want to acknowledge it or not. We are very intensely affected by gender and gender representations, gender concepts in the world, and how we identify ourselves in terms of gender. So here, we're going to get into some of that. Um, and we're going to do it respectfully. You will not see me mocking someone's opinion in a valley girl voice on this channel. Uh, and we'll talk about homemaking and what that means in a lot of different con contexts is the word I'm trying to say. Um, to explain to you a little bit about my personal identity as a feminine woman, um, I wrote a blog post about it and it explains the four f cornerstones of how I identify as a feminine woman. But even as I was writing that, I could feel myself sort of expanding into <laughs> other areas of thought with this. But for now, I will share that my four cornerstones of my own personal feminine identity, this is just me. I'm not prescribing it for anyone. I'm not saying this applies to anyone else but me. Um, the four cornerstones of my feminine identity are gentleness, nurturing, creativity, and stewardship. And we'll talk about those four different areas as time goes on here. I want to just leave you with that for now. I'm trying to create a set of videos to sort of create the foundation that the rest of the channel will be built on. Um, just kind of give you an overview of my position on these things before we really get into the more specific topics on them. So that is a good start for us in talking about identifying as feminine people and in talking about gender and gender identity. If you liked this video, give it a like. Oh, I hate saying that. I hate being like that typical YouTube person but like it if you want to if you don't that doesn't matter that's not what I'm here for <laughs> okay um, more to come soon in the meantime 
uh, make sure that you continue to read good books and drink good coffee. <laughs> Bye.